So I'm, I'm going to go ahead and start this show. And um, I, I don't even know what to say about Puig's round. It, it's up there with Cano's of last year and the whole Broken Bad episode. Um, check, no, it was worse. Check swing the first pitch. I told you. You see the high cheese? I told you he would get anxious and punchy, and I knew exactly that. I, I, I called it. I called it. That's why I didn't pick it. This makes me hate you a little bit. But we still got a lot of guys to go. Um, Adam Jones did pretty well. I thought he might do a little bit better than he did, honestly. Uh, his swing was looking pretty good. He got he was early a bunch. I don't know. I think that, uh, you know, again, the nerves of these guys still, even at, at this type of venue, is still the nerves are pretty high. So um, I think he's a little anxious as well. But he wasn't 0 for 10 anxious or 0 for 7 anxious, I guess. So I want to uh, know how the three guys, the three kids in the stands keep catching the fly balls. <laughs> they keep catching the same balls. Orange Shorts caught a ball. Orange Shorts back. I don't even want to – I'm just – Puig just crushed me. I don't know. I don't know. He's not built for a home run derby. He's built like a like a linebacker. How is he not built for a home run derby? I'm saying that like his – Mentally. Mentally. Years. He's too uh, – too something. He looks like Alistair Overeem. He's a monster. He's big. He's a big dude. It's not looking good for team domination, but the new rules and Stanton about to hit, things are about to look up for us, I think. We'll see.